And I was actually so much more depressed in Northwest Washington than in Northwest Syria. <laughs> you know, because the level of hopelessness that you see on the ground in Washington is actually feels in some ways much more tangible than in Syria because people are getting on with it no matter what. And I think that resilience is often lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you have done because very to the point of resilience, there was a children's hospital that was bombed six times. Mm -hmm. Some of us, myself included, might have given up at that point, but you didn't. Tell us about what you did. Um, so yeah, so when, when besieged Aleppo was being bombed, this was last November, um, I'd got a message to say they've just bombed five hospitals in, in, in that weekend, and I honestly felt so devastated. Um, I just spent years trying to rebuild with my colleagues and, and friends, and, um, and I was bloody furious. Um, and so I, after spending um, a, a couple of days crying, <laughs> I realized that was really unhelpful. Um, and wanted a good to start, but uh, unhelpful. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to do something that, was transform that could transform our collective anger into something meaningful. Yeah. Um, and I knew that I wanted to not just rebuild in the Th in, the, in the way that I've always done it, which is you go begging for money and then you get on with it. I, I wanted something that everyone can contribute to. Um, and so um, we launched the People's Convoy campaign and it was a campaign to crowdfund to rebuild a whole children's hospital. Um, and I wanted to take the equipment um, for the hospital all the way from London to, to um, Syria to deliver it to our partners, IDA. Um, and it was something that I wanted people to be part of, yeah. um, except we had 12 days to do it before Christmas, and <laughs> everyone thought I had absolutely lost my mind, um, including myself. Um, but we did it, you know, like 5,000 people from over 10 countries raised $350,000 in just 12 days, and off we went on convoy, and we took the hospital equipment, and three months later, Hope Hospital opened its doors. Okay.